Modern technology allows humans to automate everything from growing lettuce to peeling onions to inflating condoms. What all these production processes have in common is that they are exciting and definitely worth a look. In this episode, I will show you the most innovative and cool production processes that you shouldn't miss. There will be a lot to see, so let's get started. It's hard to imagine that the production process of container-grown lettuce can be automated. Nevertheless, it is, and here's how it works. Growing lettuce leaves using a hydroponic system ensures high yield and requires much less effort and energy compared to traditional field or greenhouse cultivation. The production process starts with the seeding of lettuce plants in containers, which is a manual task. These containers are arranged in blocks that will then be transported on an automated conveyor belt. The next step is the greenhouse. In fact, it's a massive moving belt. Young plants are placed at the beginning of the belt and gradually move towards the exit of the greenhouse. The nutrient solution automatically feeds the plants, so there's no need to control weeds at all. The lettuce is regularly watered and illuminated with special lamps. The journey from the start to the end of the greenhouse takes only 10 to 30 minutes. Upon leaving the greenhouse, the lettuce is cleaned of excess leaves and roots, weighed and packed into individual bags, which are then placed in cardboard boxes. The boxes are collected during the day and distributed in the evening. In 2017, the Italian company initiated its automated pasta production process, which turned out to be one of the most spectacular processes I've ever seen. The machine not only mixes the pasta dough, but also shapes it into various pasta varieties in just seconds. After shaping, the pasta is treated with heat, pasteurized, and dried in a single continuous process. This machine can produce nearly 150 metric tons of fresh pasta, which is more than one ton per hour. These days, not everyone has time to slice bread by hand. Special machines were invented a long time ago to create pre-sliced bread. One of these machines is capable of slicing 50 slices of bread in just one minute. Since the slices don't fall apart, the machine uses jets of air to keep them in place. All that's left to do is push the sliced bread forward directly into the packaging. The final step is to remove excess air from the packaging and seal the open end with a simple but ingenious metal clip. Thanks to technological advances, ready-to-eat meals no longer surprise anyone. You've probably seen peeled and boiled potatoes and beets in stores, but did you know there's a special machine for peeling boiled eggs? The peeling system, called Sanovo, not only peels but also pre-cooks the eggs. All the worker has to do is place the egg in special metal channels. The system then takes the eggs into boiling water, where they are boiled for 18 minutes, after which they are sent to cool in a cold water container for 23 minutes. Afterward, Sanovo peels them all at once by vibrating the eggs, causing them to collide with the sides of the chute, and the weight of the eggs separates the shells. The next step is where broken eggshells are carefully removed and discarded. Sanovo can boil, cool and peel 20,000 eggs in one hour. Each one of us has seen a crayon at least once. I bet you have. The company has managed to create a cult following for its product. I want you to enjoy the very pleasant production process of these crayons. The process starts with mixing paraffin wax, colored pigments and other confidential ingredients. The composition of crayons is intentionally kept secret by the manufacturers. The mixture is poured into a rotating molding machine after the wax cools at the top of the machine. It is carefully removed and the crayons with the desired shape are extracted from the molds by a hydraulic mechanism. Now all that's left is to transfer the tray to the packing compartment where they are wrapped in just one minute. The factory produces 8,500 new wax crayons. The standard here is 13.5 million crayons per day, or about 5 billion crayons per year. Glass is made from natural raw materials from the earth, which are melted at very high temperatures. While sand is commonly believed to be the main ingredient of glass, technically the primary component is quartz or silica sand. The hot mixture, which can now be called glass, is cut into pieces. A special device is responsible for measuring and cutting it into equal portions in the production facility. The cut portions go directly into molds, and the bottlenecks are shaped by compressed air to give the bottles their final form. They are subjected to heat once again. But this is not the end of the production process, as the bottles also need to be polished and sterilized. By the way, do you know why they still make long and narrow bottlenecks in all modern bottled beverages? Not only is it easier to hold, 
but when you hold the bottle by the neck, the drink at the bottom of the bottle stays cold. Write in the comments if you knew this. Have you ever wondered how plywood is made? Everyone has seen it, but few know how it's made. In short, plywood is made by bonding thin slices of wood together with adhesive. It doesn't get easier, does it? It's not very clear how you can get a thin slice of wood, right? I'll show you. In plywood factories, carved wood is first cut into various large pieces. These resulting blank pieces are placed in a special machine with sharp blades along its edges. This blade is used to cut the rotating wood. In the machine, its thickness is 0.007 inches, and the sheets are fed onto an adjacent automatic conveyor, where they are cut, coated with adhesive, and pressed into finished boards. Have you ever dreamt of peeling onions without crying? Technology will come to your rescue. This onion peeling and cutting machine is called Phoenix, and it's a pleasure to watch. Everything is systematically clear and understandable. This is one of the unique factories that uses a system to automatically orient the onions in space. Robots place the root crop in the correct position, guided by camera data. After this calibration, the next stage of the process begins, during which the top and bottom of the onions are carefully cut. The final stage uses a machine that gently removes the skins and sends the onions further down the conveyor to the packaging plant. So one of these machines can peel 12,000 onions in just one hour. Not without reason, Germany is known worldwide for its exceptional technology. The Germans have even managed to create a machine that is programmed to make pretzels. A pretzel is a salty food item 10 to 15 centimeters long, made from wheat flour, malt, yeast and water. Before the 1930s, they were made by hand, and an experienced baker could twist up to 40 pretzels in one minute. The modern machine, codenamed Multi-Twist, is capable of providing all the cooking phases. It handles kneading, rolling, and cutting the dough. After the preparation phases, the strips of dough are rolled into bundles, and the machine, in the shape of a horseshoe, has a special manipulator that can tie a perfect knot in just one second. It works so fast that it produces up to 2,000 pretzels in one hour, which is incredible. The prototype of the modern condom dates back to the mid-19th century. Nowadays, condoms are made from latex, a strong, thin, and tear-resistant material. Production begins by mixing liquid latex with antioxidant stabilizers and other essential ingredients. Then, a chain of glass blanks starts moving, which will serve as molds for the future product. Initially, the glass is thoroughly washed and dried, and then it is dipped into a tank with the prepared latex mixture. The temperature in the tank is only 25 degrees Celsius, but the mixture remains liquid. After the first dip, the molds are removed, and the process is repeated several more times until the condom has gained enough thickness. Then, the condoms are sent to an oven for 10 to 12 minutes to harden the latex. Now the products are taken out of the cylinders, washed and treated with a solution that prevents them from sticking when rolled up. Then it's time to carry out various tests. If you want to know how Kit Kat chocolate is made, watch the video on your screen and please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who might be interested. Also subscribe to this channel by activating the notifications to continue learning. Thanks for watching.